back to the channel is here with Mia Baker. Hello. <laughs> we are currently in Morocco at Mazagan Golf Club. And as you can see, it's a bit windy. Very today. windy. <laughs> <laughs> we played yesterday and it was absolutely beautiful. It was glorious. Yeah. Wasn't it? It's a bit windy today, so we thought it would be fitting to do a how to play in the wind um, tutorial. Uh, what do you normally do when you play in the wind? Just play and like, let my ball go wherever it sits. <laughs> or go home. <laughs> or go home. Yeah, so Mia's has been playing for two years um, and this week we're kind of just going over more like practical things and just like things that come with experience with golf, like playing in the wind. So. Yeah, and nerves. Today I feel like just a lot more chilled after yesterday, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, you just kind of have to like break into the game. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, so today I guess we can just go through some like really easy like setup things that you would do. Are you change your setup in the wind? Yeah, you definitely change oh. your setup. Yeah, you change like how high you tee the ball up, like where you put it in your uh, in your stance. Oh, there you so, go. Yeah. Didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> so. Basically, um, there's like a few concepts with hitting in the wind that most people don't think about. So the first one is putting your hair usually, up <laughs> yeah, making sure that your hair is not all over your <laughs> face and you can actually see first one. I guess most men don't have to worry with that, which is very irritating. I know. <laughs> um, so basically, the most important concept is that the harder you hit, the higher the ball goes, okay. which is kind of like a bad thing when it comes to the wind, because then the wind will control your ball a lot more. The harder you hit, the higher it goes. Yeah, because it produces like more spin. Okay. Yeah, and also the more hinge you put like in your swing, the higher it goes as well. So what do you mean? Um, you know, like at on like the top this of your, point, like or? on the top of your swing, if you hinge quite a lot. So if I do that versus that. Yeah, exactly. So that's the, the hinge is this part. Right? Okay. So So if I did that it goes higher. And if it, I do it, that it goes yeah, more likely it goes higher. So which means when it's windy and you want to hit like a lower flight and shot, uh, it's really good to not hit as hard and also not hinge as much. Okay. So those are like two things you can kind of work on and think about. Does it go and, less far though? Um like yes, it, it, it goes less far because you're not hitting it as, as hard. hard, but you can compromise with taking a longer club. Okay. Like a more lo um, a less lofted club, so it kind of equals out. Okay. Yeah. So, um, with that in mind, let's say we have like 140 yards. Mm -hmm. um, what will you no normally take for that? A seven? A seven. Maybe. Okay. I don't really know. My numbers are all over the shop. Okay. <laughs> I actually think you're more like an eight for that. But oh. look, so you were hitting it really oh, far shit. yesterday. <laughs> what a good day. Not a good day. Yeah, so let's say you normally would take like seven iron for 140. Mm -hmm. However, um, no, it's quite windy and you just want to get it a little bit lower. So you can maybe take a six iron and then take more of what feels like a half swing. So you don't have to hit it as hard like that. Um, a little bit more. You can, it's probably going to feel like that to you. Yeah, because actually when I think that, naturally, no, I kind of go up feel like to go down. Yeah, exactly. So you just feel like you're taking less of a swing. Okay. And less hard. Just like a more smooth swing. Um, have you ever heard of the phrase, when it's breezy, swing? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, so it's that, that's really where it comes from. Um, so next, when you set up, um, you want to put it more towards the back of your stance. Um, because that keeps it lower, doesn't it'll it? It'll keep it lower as well. I've learned that from punch shots, actually. Very, exactly. It's just like a punch shot. It's not that different from a punch shot oh, okay. or a knockdown shot. It is windy today. Yeah. It's also really good for compression work as oh, yeah. well. You did teach me that and I, yeah. I love compression. It's really cool. It makes you look really cool, <laughs> even if you're not cool like Do me. Like stingers more yeah. 
So what I'm doing, I'm just going for a swing easy in back of stance. Yeah, or? back of the stance. Um, How far back? Like I've now. This is uh, say middle. Yeah, middle. So mid, like middle back. You don't so want to change. Even further. Uh, just a, uh, I don't think it has to be that much. Okay. Um, just a little bit is good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And just a small shot. And just small and less hinge. Feel like you're just doing a like, something like that. Yeah? yeah, that felt like it didn't go very far at all though. It didn't go very far because I think you're, you didn't put like that much power into it. Okay. Um, that was more like a pitch shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Okay. Just a bit, but... Um, so that, but harder. But harder um, and more like a full swing, like full swing speed if that makes sense. That was like ch uh, ch a little chippy. Okay. It's quite hard to swing hard. But smooth. But smooth, yeah. but soft. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Something like that. Yeah, that's like a good... I felt like it still hinged though. Or was it? I think you're always gonna hinge, but it's just like the feeling of it. Like you're just not hinging as much as like a regular swing. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now let's put a bit back of the stance. Really good. It's like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's something just like that. Like, look how it just like penetrates the air and it just goes so low. And you're basically not letting the wind control you. Because like the higher you go, like when, uh, when you have like an A iron, mm -hmm. it usually goes quite high. And yeah, like you just don't know where the wind is going to take it. That's really good. Ah! Yeah, just like that. <laughs> you're a very easy student. Why, thank you. <laughs> Got a good coach. Back of the stance. Back of the stance. Probably swing it a little bit harder still. Yeah, right? you can go harder, no problem. A bit to the right, but you so, know, it went in the air. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, at least for me, I do feel like my shots, when I do punch shots, tend to go a bit right. And I oh, really? think it's because sometimes you try to like hold on um, to the club and your your club face stays a bit open. So I just need to turn Yeah, you probably just have to be more conscious of your club face. Okay, let's try again then. Or you could just play that shot if it really works for you, just like aim a bit left and know it's gonna, it's gonna curve a bit to the right. Oh, still to the right. I think I could have just turned a bit more. A bit more. Oh, keep forgetting to put it in the back, right? That's, that's back, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was me thinking too much. Yeah, you kind of slowed down a bit on it. Still to the right, I don't know. That's okay, honestly. Like, you're hitting really solid, and like, in the wind, I don't know, I think all the are on. Get it forward and not like let it stay in play. That was a low yeah. top ball. Even that, that's okay. I would take that on the course. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. it went straight. No one straight. Also, if you look at the where the flag is blowing, it's already going right. So should I be setting up more left? You said you could play with the wind. So if I set up touch more left. Yeah. Like where the peak of the house is, like the roof. Okay. That's what I would do. Let's set up a little left yeah. then. And just take advantage of the wind. Yeah, just like that. There we go. It's easy as really, that. Really <laughs> easy. <laughs> so now we, that's basically the iron. Yeah. Um, so if you want to just like warm up with your driver. Okay. Um, and then we can go through a few like setup changes with the driver and then we're good to go. All right. I actually usually tee it up quite high, which obviously I don't feel like is the right answer. I'd actually say it depends how you, like which way the wind is blowing of how high you want to tee it up. Okay. And that's why it's important to always check the wind. I can tell you. <laughs> Izzy's been teaching me this. Ooh, skills. It's actually kind of going forward. Yes, yeah, so it's tailwind. That way. Or you just look at your hand. A bit to the right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one uh, upside to have long hair on a windy day. 
Can I ask um, you a question? Yes. Do you need to do like the low flight shot only if the wind is coming towards you and then you can do the high ones if it's going with yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. That's what I like to do. So I usually take advantage of the wind if it's going forward because I want to hit farther. Like that's the only time I can potentially, you know, get to 300 yards, right? Like downhill, downwind. <laughs> so it's like win-win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So just think of it like you want to catch the wind, like if it's going in your favor. But of course, if it's not in your favor, then you want it low so we can get farther okay so i don't know if i really need to teach you like going towards because you just hit yeah. normally and you can see it a bit higher even just so it can go even higher in the air but let's pretend like it's headwind which is going towards, uh, towards you okay which is hurting wind as well so you usually want to tee the ball up a lot lower so you can try maybe just like half a ball over the equator or oh, oh that's well, low so it's over only... that yeah i thought that was like what you're meant to have it like uh, let's see. yeah it should be like that like just a bit lower okay you almost feel like you're gonna top it <laughs> and then when i hit it so i have to try and like hit through it so right there it... so you just want to feel as if it's just over the equator it's a bit lower than normal how you would tee it up, and then what were you saying? When I hit it, mm -hmm. usually I'm like that. Am I hitting it the same way? How am I hitting it? Um, so like through it. More. What I like to do is kind of the same concept. Is like the the harder you hit it, the higher it's gonna go. Okay. So take like a more easier swing, and then what I would do is I would just put the ball like more in the middle of your stance. Okay. Yeah, put it in the middle of your stance. Um, normally it's usually on your front left heel right? yeah something like that so just move it a bit to the middle and then just swing easier that's all it is it's really in the setup. that's interesting i never even thought to put a driver shot in the middle of my mm -hmm. stance yeah and you just have to practice it because it probably will go right okay. to start with <laughs> let's try oh it yeah went really right yeah well wow do you understand like the concept of why it would go right why, why did it go that right though? Um, it's because one, you're not used to it, but two, like if you put it more in the back of your stance, it has like less time for you to close the club face and square it. Okay, so if I try and just close my club face earlier, will it? Uh, yeah, square it earlier. I can't believe how right that went. Like It, it went really right. It wasn't right. even a slice, it was just a right it was a, just a straight push, wasn't it? It was really odd. Okay, right, ready? Try and shut the club face. It's actually kind of weird having it in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it goes really That's right. Madness. Yeah. Um, do you know any uh, concept of kind of doing like easy band aids on the course if you're going left or right? Do you know how to like close your your shoulders? in your feet okay so you know the tendency is you're probably going to go a bit right because of that but look how nice the the ball flight is it's like quite low isn't it so do the exact same setup okay and so you know your tendency is going to go right today so close your feet and your shoulders which means bring your your left foot forward more forward Exactly. And then your shoulders forward as well. Like that? Yeah. So that's called... Yeah. So basically... But I need to go back a bit. I just walk. Yeah. Yeah, you can go back a bit. Like this? Yeah, that is basically going to prevent you from going right. Okay. In theory. <laughs> In theory. <laughs> we'll find out. But you have to make sure that your club face is square to the okay. target, which is going to be left of that white flag. So I basically just set up then as if I was going to hit that That way. you're going to go right, okay. yeah. So make so, sure... That wait, what do I do first? Do I do this bit first and then my club um, face? So do your club face first. Okay. Set up your club face and then set up as you normally would with your feet and your shoulders and then change. So let me... Exactly. So don't move this. Okay. Okay. My grip feels different though. 
Is that meant to? Because naturally, I would when I hold it. Do you um, know what I mean? So it's now. Yeah, I think your your weight is shifting a little bit. So, like, feel as if exactly how you would, but just shift it slightly, and your weight distribution all the same. Because I think you're kind of leaning to the left now. <laughs> how does that feel? Let's try it. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't feel natural. Let's say that. <laughs> let's see. Still going a bit left. Maybe I just really think about closing it. Closing it. I don't know. That as well. It's bit, you know what? It's the first time I've ever done this, so I feel like practice. Yeah, you definitely would need to get comfortable with it. I mean, it's already confusing enough hitting it like this, let alone yeah, I know. turning my body. So another thing is that maybe you don't have to be so much in the middle. So, uh, so how would you normally set up? with your feet like if it was not a windy day uh probably like this like to be that. Honest, yeah. okay so let's just bring it just a tad into the middle yeah that's good so stop right there so it's not so extreme okay and then close your stance now slightly just slightly like this like yeah and then your shoulder as well then okay yeah you're good Well, that slice. Slice it went bit. the right way if it didn't slice. Yeah. Um, you're also just really hitting into a left to right wind. Let me try again well. and hit through the ball. I think hit I'm feeling a little bit. Okay, so I'm set up straight, uh -huh. but the ball's slightly further back. It's teed slightly lower, and now I'm going to move myself just a touch this way. Just a touch, yeah. And now I'm going to swing through. Ooh, that was nice. There we go. I really like that. That was probably the perfect driver that you could hit. It's, it was low, it was penetrating, and it went exactly where it was. I think it's just like having confidence that you're just hitting it normally and just going all the way through. Yeah. Kind of stopping there and being hopeful. Yeah. I think that's a really good point because you just have to change the setup and yeah. then your swing is the same, actually. But it's just those little things in the beginning that will really help you and set you up for like that particular shot. I think when you're trying something new as well, your tendency is to want to look at the ball and see where it's going. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so just don't forget to finish your swing and really trust your setup. Cause okay. I understand I feel like wonky. It, it does feel <laughs> very wonky. So like now touch like that. Okay. Brushed on the floor, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, brushed it a bit. Nice. Cool. I mean, those are basically the concepts uh, to hit your driver and your iron. Yeah. So why don't we go out and play a hole? And yeah. We'll just kind of see how to like apply that. There's like so many like fun course management things you can play like when it's windy. Because honestly, when you're like, let's say you're playing competition or you're just trying to shoot a good score everyone is struggling and the more you can just like miss your ball and just like kind of give in to the wind in a sense like the better you're gonna play so. honestly i wouldn't even thought about doing any of this so really? it's really wow. helpful amazing yeah love to hear it she's putting up her hair I she's ready up because yeah on the range it just it just wasn't ideal to be honest with you but look at this it's getting real okay I do have a question. Uh -huh. Would you always take a driver in the wind? Because I know people who are like, oh, I take my iron. Like my four iron or my driving iron. Um, I personally use my driver because I want to hit it like farther and I want to like get it as close to the green as possible. Okay. So I generally take my driver. Yeah. Driver it is. Yeah. You don't need to convince me any more yeah. than that. So what we want to do is lower. Well, that depends. Oh. What's the first thing we oh, do? Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> it's actually slightly in our favor. In our favor? Yeah, I think so. Wait, let me test, test again. Is there any more grass? 
Look at me and her grass throwing skills. Yeah, to the left and forward. Ooh! That was really good. I actually rolled right, unfortunately. Oh my god, that was a bad bounce. But I know. Nice. The golf course is not in my favor today. <laughs> We're on a limited amount of balls right now. That's what I was trying to do. Call it, I think. Right. Yeah. We're okay. in action. Alright, so, so how far was it? One, four, nine. Four, nine. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to do this every <laughs> time. It's gonna become second nature to you very soon. Seven. Seven. Let's so it's go. going forward. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm worried, I'm like, just don't chunk it, just don't chunk it. No, don't think that. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> just just swing freely, just swing, swing freely. freely. <laughs> I like it. Very solid shot. Honestly, I have no idea where that went. <laughs> I think that was a good shot. Really good. Fingers crossed. <laughs> First time for everything. I just keep forgetting. That's my problem. I just forget. But you're starting to check the wind more. Yeah. I'm already doing it. What club do I pick? Let alone what the wind is doing, mm -hmm. what the landing spot is. I don't no. even know what's there's in just, front of me. There's like so much to learn in golf. So much to think about. Yeah. Even though I know I should think Absolutely. about these things, I don't. It's, whoa, <laughs> I got really, really lucky. It's like any white bit. Oh, actually I can see my ball. I did go long. You go long? Yeah. Yeah, just a bit though. So It was next quite time, dangerous though, that to be fair. I know, that's actually a really good shot. Like a really good miss as they say. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Check the wind. 96 yards. Um, I normally land this about like 90 yards, but with the wind going to forward and my 50, then I would take like 80. So I'd probably do more of like a quarter swing, I guess. Show us how it's done. That's all you can ask for on a windy day. So you also have to take into account the wind for like chip shots like that. Oh really? Yeah. That'll also affect it. It doesn't so. go that high though. I know, but it still will affect it. Even, and it doesn't go as far. It just depends. So it's going backwards, which means that it'll roll less. Oh really? Uh huh. The wind will hold it quite a bit. Because now you're going against it. Two feet onto the green and let it just use the bank. Put left. Yeah. Oh, Oops. I think you went a bit left, but roll, come roll, on, it's roll. trying, it's really trying. Well, we're on the green. Yeah, that's all that matters. I think it was because of the bunker, kind of was like, I need to get over, I need mm -hmm. to get over. Oh, I hit the hill, it's good. Okay, maybe it's not as good. <laughs> wow, I blame the wind on that. I should have hit it harder, but there was also a massive uphill that I didn't take into account. So. Really good. 
nicely done. Control. Considering how windy it is. Yeah, exactly. What do you think this is? Like 30 miles per hour? I don't know. I'm not quite being blown away, yeah. but the waves are crashing a lot. Yeah. All right, folks, <laughs> that's a wrap for this vlog. Mia, how was playing with the wind? Really yeah. tricky. So tricky. <laughs> Do you Very think that tricky. you were able to like apply some of the, the things we learned like on the range? I think with a bit more practice, it will be a bit more. It's just remembering it for me. Like yeah. I forget so easily what weather yeah. impacts my game of golf. It's crazy because like if you don't check the wind, it's almost as if you're choosing the wrong ball. Yeah. But then naturally we just don't think like, oh, it has, the external factor has nothing to do with like the yardage. But I'll try and remember. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah, as long as start checking the wind and we're good to go, that's the first step. And then... I just have so much yeah. to learn. My brain is at <laughs> max capacity. Yeah, golf is so hard. <laughs> but it's so much fun and it's like you're always growing. Like, I feel like I learn like so much every time I play as well. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a great game. You like playing with newbies like me. <laughs> you're actually not a newbie. You're, I would say you're the best newbie beginner golfer that I've ever played. Thanks. I actually practice really hard. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool to watch. Like you actually hit really solid shots, but you just don't have enough experience to know like where to aim. But like as soon as you master that, you'll literally be shooting like this. If you ever play it, yeah. If I ever get to, yeah. One day. One day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that today. So, cool. Don't forget to subscribe to Mia's channel. We're gonna put it in the description box below. We have tons of vlogs that so many we're filming together today and yesterday and on this trip. Thank you so much to Mazagan Golf Club for having us. It's been amazing. Absolutely amazing. amazing. It's like the perfect golf holiday and. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! <laughs>